What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing another simple tutorial on how to import music, whether it's instrumentals or actual songs, onto GarageBand, um, onto your Mac. Um, and I'll be talking about how to do it on iOS as well. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple, so let's get straight into this. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to, if you want to do this through iTunes, you're going to get a song. Um, let's say, so you're, you're going to have to go to the store to buy it. Even if you have Apple Music, you have to go to the store. So you're going to go to the store. Um, and let's say you want to get, so let's just type in Butterfly Effect Instrumental. So you're going to type in, like, Instrumental. And there's going to come up with all of these. So you're going to buy it. And then once you have it, here, I'll buy one that I have. I think I have, like... Say you mental. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure I have this. So um, yes, I do have this. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take whatever one you want. You're gonna buy it, and once you buy it, you're gonna go. So let's see, you go into an empty project, and you're gonna click create. You're going to click up here, you're going to click that, and it should fall in here. So whatever that stuff, like whatever you downloaded. So I think there's, should be, so you won't let go. It's right here. So you're here, so you're going to click it, you're going to drag it in, and boom, you got your instrumental. You can do the same effects, EQ, whatever you want on that, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so that's a tutorial on how to do it on Mac, so the next thing we're going to do is talk about how to do it on iOS, I'm not going to really show you on iOS right now, um, it's pretty simple, you do the same exact thing, except on iOS, there's going to be a little bit, um, if you go to my older, vi some of my videos, you can actually, you'll be able to tell, there's a little circle like this in your corner, um, and what you're going to do when you're on your GarageBand page, once you're in your session, you're going to click that little circle, um, that little loop. You're going to go to, I think it's like artists and music or like your own music. And then once it's the stuff that you've bought from your iTunes store will be there as well. So yes, that is how you do it in iOS. Um, and as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is a pretty simple tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, peace.